You too. What's good, man? My name just Chill Will. This uh, basically just a little barber vlog. I'm a I'm a up and coming barber in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, this basically just so y'all can see my growth throughout the whole course of this barbering thing, man. Cause it's it's a grind for sure. I have a lot of nights, a lot of long nights, man. A lot of long days when you ain't cutting no hair. Trust me, I done been through it all. I still go through it most days. All right, I lied. I ain't gonna say most days, but you know, I go through it though. I go through it for sure. But today though, oh damn, I got a big ass night joint. But today though, we really just gonna get into my station and the tools I use on a day to day basis and everything like that. Uh, like I said, I'm new to this, so I don't really know what content to post, what not to post outside of cuts. So this is just off day. I figured I might as well start up my YouTube today, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And take a brief moment right now. Like, if y'all can, like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Let me know what type of content y'all want to see. Whatever it is y'all want. I say the first time I cut my hair, I had to be... It was my ninth grade year. So I was... I was 13. Yep. No, I just turned 14. I lied. My fault. I just turned 14. Man, my brother was cutting my head for a minute, and the boy put a mean patch in me. He used to do me bad. I, I honestly don't think I have one good picture of, like, from middle school. Like, granted, I look good in them, of course, but once you really, like, look at my hairline, and dog, they was tearing me up. <laughs> Shout out RK Customs too, man. That's my brother. He uh, it's my first barber, or my second. Nigga was the last one. He was the last one I went to. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But yeah, man, he he don't realize like he really he, he created a monster with these clippers, man. Cause boy, if it wasn't for him, I don't know what I'd be doing right now, honestly. There ain't no telling. Yeah, he used to do me bad. Y'all probably ain't gonna never see me without a hat on now because of him. So, <laughs> so yeah, man, blame him though. But yeah, man, let me go on and get up here and show y'all the station at the shop. It ain't nothing too. It ain't nothing too fancy. It ain't nothing too special. But I'm gonna show y'all what it's looking for. No, wait though. Before I go to the shop to show y'all the station and everything, give me about. 30 seconds of y'all time. I'm about to show y'all. I think I got some pictures upstairs uh, uh, who my brother used to do to my head, man. <laughs> my mama should have killed him, man. My mama should have beat him. That's just, that's a little bit of the damage right there. Man, <laughs> he used to do me so bad. <laughs> yeah, man, so as y'all can see, I was, I was, I was forced into this barber game, man. I ain't... <laughs> I ain't want to cut hair. I wanted to be an NBA player. I thought I was going to the league. Don't ask why. But I ain't, I ain't want that. <laughs> Before I leave and show y'all the station, this is just, uh, it's probably my favorite picture in the house for real. It's, it's, for those who ain't from Cleveland, it's the Cleveland, Ohio skyline. Yeah. Watch what I tell y'all, man. One day I'm going to take that city over. But, but all right, y'all, it's time to get to it, man. Time to get up here to the shop, show y'all what I'm working on. It's just going to be a quick little three, four, five-minute tour of the station. It ain't nothing too extravagant, nothing too crazy. But see y'all at the shop. All right, so I just put up to the shop. Don't ask why I'm still sitting in the car, but uh, I don't know, man. It's just one of them days I'm being lazy. Ain't nobody up here. Ain't no reason for me to rush in there. It ain't like there's no money to be made right now. No, hold on, wait for her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me take that back. Let me take that back. When you're a barber, it's always money to be made. I took that back. That was that was the laziness in me talking. But uh, yeah, man, let me go on and get in here and show y'all what it's about. And you know, they gave me this whole big spiel about football, pictures, all that stuff. So I cut his hair for him real quick. I'll show you a clip of that song. Uh, but yeah, I ended up cutting his hair before I showed the station, so here go the cut.
Hello. All right, now, nah, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the cuts I showed y'all. Uh, stick around. We about to get to that little station real quick, all right? All right. You got to have my alcohols. You got to. I'm actually about to stop using alcohol and start using witch hazel. Uh, you know, it's less of a burn and all that. But my olive oil, just to shine the hair up after the cut, make it look all good and sexy. <laughs> Uh, my cooling care and this cooling care. I don't know. I just always use this. I think I started using it just because of the name when I um, when I started out barbering. Everybody and their mama used in this cooling care, but I just it stuck with me. Um, Sharpen hold. This to me is probably the best holder out there. Like you get everything solid stuck in place but you don't get that extra like gunk that comes along with it um this is my kiss temporary uh hair color spray i don't really use this as much i like to use my air compressor but for the moment my charger uh, is broke so i gotta buy a whole new air compressor this is the air compressor i use got it off amazon about 50 dollars nothing major but hey, you get the job done. This my that's my real baby right there. But uh Yeah. That was a little, little neck duster. Uh, now let's go to the clippers I use. This is my my Bebless Pros. I mean it ain't you know how these is. If you end up cutting here, you watching this video nine times out of ten, you know exactly how these is. They get the job done. Cut through bulk, fade, smooth, clean. Or you can do a whole cut with just these. I don't, cause I don't know my detail work. I'm real specific in it. But you can do a whole cut with just these, and it'll come out fire. Uh, got my shaver. That's cool. I don't know why, for some reason, like whenever I clean my shaver, I guess the gold from the the gold from that like runs down and stains this. I don't know, that's weird. I've been trying to get that off for weeks. It ain't working. Uh, OG Daddies. The cordless Elvis Masters. These, these great for bulk. Same, just like the Babylon's joints. These actually better for, some people might feel it's better because it's a higher motor. Me personally, I don't like higher motors when I do like fade work and stuff like that. Uh, I like a low motor, so it's, you feel me? You got more of a chance for like, you got more space for air with lower motors. So that's why I usually do my cuts with these, but I come through, clean it up, open these all the way up, straight detail work or straight bulk work. You'll probably never ever really see me actually fading, fading with these. You'll just see me cleaning up. Um, my liners, these my babies. Shout out to La Barbara's. I think that's her name, I don't know. I have her link uh, for her description in the bio below. But she said these, no, I can't even get the thing right. Uh, I wish I could. Oh yeah, she said these things to a T. They, they hit for sure. These, one tap and go. <laughs> Real shit. Uh, this is just a little miscellaneous drawer. I keep my brushes in here. Me personally, I like the tan chalk pencil a little better because most of my clients are African American and darker skin, so you know this just comes out way more natural. We look, we look that they give it that pop. You need to oil them clippers up, man. You need to oil them clippers up. I done messed up a lot of liners before, like I knew how important oil and clippers was. I done messed up a lot of liners like that, a lot. The main guards I use. Uh, with these because like I told you I don't really use a guard with my Antis Masters but when I do you got to go to old school the original double uh, the, the original dual mag magnetic guards I don't like the new ones the new ones I don't know they weird I don't like them they don't, they don't cut the same these really the only two I use anything higher than that clipper over comb clipper over shears I mean shears over comb clipper over comb is that uh, what else? Got my napkins. Got my another miscellaneous drawer. Got my napkins. Got my, my mirror. Got my uh, towel, blow dryer. Every 
every single cut I'm using. Uh, got some little cords in there, nothing too major. Cleaning stuff, uh, that drawer junkie, we ain't even gonna open that all the way up, but it's some, it's, it's some, it's some shit in there. Some shit in there. <laughs> but yeah, man, all in all, that's basically the station. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, 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 oh. That's where the magic happened. That's, 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 that's where the money get made right there. Last thing, last thing, last thing. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Just Chill Will, or you can follow my cutting page on Instagram at Chills underscore Cuts. That's at C H I L L S underscore C U T S. First page at J U S T C H I L L W I L L. Help me build those two. I'm just trying to build up all platforms, man. So help out if you want. If not. It's cool too, big dog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments, whatever. It don't take shit but 20 seconds out of your day, man.